Hi, welcome back to Arting with Mrs. Gill, and I'm Mrs. Gill. Today, uh, we're still working on our thread bowls, thread bowls. So I'm still gonna put more thread on this one. Uh, you get embroidery floss, I'd recommend you untangling it first so that you can uh, go around these bowls fairly quickly. Okay, I'd already put the pink on last time, so now I'm putting on putting on the roots. No, I'm not putting on the roots. I'm putting on more thread. This is an adhesive star-like thing they give you. This is the wrong size. I put a bigger star on this one than I should have, but we're still gonna do it anyway. So read the instructions. Sometimes instructions aren't very good. This turned out better than my other one, see? Look, that's kind of raggedy, raggedy, but look. So the more you do with these, the better you get. It's the way I'm looking at it. It's my last bowl. And um, it's going better than the others because I kind of know how it works. I'm making sure my embroidery floss is not tangled up in the first place so that I can keep rotating this little bowl. And so that's what I'm doing. My dog is whining a little over there because she wants my attention. But right now I'm giving my attention to this craft. To this craft. So let's see, we're going around here. Let's see if I can do this a little faster. I might be able to. So. So let's see. It's kind of satisfying watching it go around though, isn't it? It's so sticky though, I wish I had a way of doing it a little quicker, but I don't. Okay, then I need that sticky stuff there to keep the thread on there. I hope you're enjoying this other than my dog whining. Abby. She, uh, she's talking to me. Do you have animals that bug you when you're in the middle of something important? I bet you do. I've got two Maltese dogs and they are spoiled rotten. Rotten. And oh, it's going pretty good right now. And they want my attention. They want pets all the time. That's because I give them pets all the time. When I'm busy on something, they want to interrupt me and uh, get more attention. You see? <gasps> so that's what I'm doing now. I'm going to continue on with this. And trying and ignore her. We'll see if that works. Her name is Abby. She is a four-year-old Maltese. She just had surgery on her uh, ACL. Never knew dogs tore up ACLs, but apparently they do. So she just got a new ACL in. So I've been really babying her because of her surgery. Oh, wow, I did pretty good on that, don't you think? Let's go with some other brighter color. Okay, we're going to go with this. And, of course, I'm going to go ahead and unwrap it so it doesn't... Uh, with embroidery floss, it will knot up, so you have to kind of be real gentle with it and not uh, be patient or, you know, frustrated with it because it will knot up. Okay. <clears throat> Hopefully we'll get this last bit on. How am I doing on time? Yeah, I'm good. 
Okay, we can get this last one on and then I'll glue it. And I'll be done with the bowls other than putting another thing of Mod Pod on them or glue. Mod Pod is like Elmer's glue, thinned out kind of, that makes your surfaces protected after art. And for this thread bowl, it's, it's used to keep the threads all together. So you got the sticky of the adhesive, and then you have the glue of the, on the outside to make it even sturdier. Man, I, I'm getting the hang of this, folks. You see that? See how I'm doing it? I'm just keeping it kind of tight. Like this. And it's working pretty good. Mm -hmm. I hope you're enjoying this, watching me do this. I bought a bunch of crafts to do. Because I'd been seeing them on Amazon and I was curious. I thought, well, I'm going to get these. They're not that expensive. And uh, that way I can show you guys what they're all about and you can decide. Uh, I don't rate these things because I'm not a rater or anything like that. I just do them and give you my opinion. It's not a, I'm not a professional artist. I'm somebody who likes to do crafts and always has. And, um. Uh, so I'm just showing you. But I will tell you these bowls are tiny. I don't know what the heck people are going to put in them. Maybe rings. Earrings maybe. A pair or two of earrings. I don't know. They'll just be kind of fun little decorative bowls. To have around to say it, that shows that you made them I guess. So... We're coming up on the edge here of this thread. And um, yeah. I think I'm gonna stop it there because I don't have it even. Anyway, it wouldn't be even. So we're just gonna stop there and do the glue thing like we did these others. So they give you this glue, craft glue, Mod Pod, and right now, I'm going to be gluing, and here's the instructions, gluing, putting glue on these things to help keep them, oh, there we go, help keep them together. So you do that. Keep that like that. Put that glue all the way around. Kind of like icing a cake, I guess, huh? Well, oh, shoot. That thing didn't stay in good. Uh, but anyway, so this is what we're doing. Just gluing this so it'll stay down good. We're going to let this glue uh, dry overnight. And then they say give another coat. So I will give another coat. And then I'll cut the plastic edges off and then there'll be little bowls so yeah this project could be an all afternoon project or you could do some of the bowls like I've done and then some of the other bowls another time but you want to make sure you get all this glue around to keep everything together. This stuff will dry clear. It's like Elmer's glue. Elmer's glue. Whoever invented that, man, that sure is a useful thing for art and everything. You see me painting this? I'm doing just what it says. I'm following the instructions. So, this bowl, this is my better bowl, best bowl, and the because it looks the nicest, but the problem was I didn't put those right star adhesives on, so it can't be as big as I'd like. Okay, folks, we're going to stop here, and I'm going to let these, let these bowls dry, and uh, come back later, and I will... Uh, 
show you how they've turned out. Thank you for joining Arting with Mrs. Gill in this craft, and please come back. Bye-bye.